The topic of this video is solving systems of linear equations using substitution or elimination. Let's look at a problem. 2x plus 2y equals 16, 3x minus 3y equals 6. Okay, first decision, should we use substitution or elimination? The way we make that choice is by going through the three steps. Step 1, clear away any fractions. We don't have any. Step 2, look at the coefficients of x and y, hoping to find 1s or negative 1s. Coefficient here is positive 2, positive 2, positive 3, negative 3. Since we don't have any 1s or negative 1s, we won't use substitution. Instead, we will use elimination. All right, so <clears throat> how does elimination work? The goal of elimination is to create term opposites. You either want your x terms in both equations to be opposites, or your y terms in both equations to be opposites. And it's up to you which variable you want to try to create the opposites for. So let's just pick x for this particular problem. Right now, our x terms are 2x and 3x. Clearly, those are not opposites. The opposite of positive 2x would be negative 2x. So how are we going to make these into opposites? Well, one approach is to look at the number, the coefficient of the x on the bottom, and to also look at the number, the coefficient of the x on the top, and to use those numbers in a very smart way. For example, the coefficient of the top x is 2. And if we use the number 2 to multiply both sides of the bottom equation, then when we distribute that 2, we're going to get 2 times 3x equals 6x. Using a similar idea, the 3 from the bottom can be used to multiply both sides of the top equation. And when this 3 is distributed to the 2x, 3 times 2x is also 6x. So we've made the two terms the same, 6x, 6x. Now we need to make them opposites. And the way we do that is by changing the sign of one of these numbers, either the 3 or the 2. And it doesn't matter which one as long as you only do it to one of them. So let's turn this 2 into a negative 2 on both sides. And because of the way mathematics is written, I have to put this 2 in parentheses so that this does not look like subtraction. OK, now we're going to do our multiplication. So we'll distribute here. And we will get 6x plus 6y equals, we'll multiply here and get 48. We have now rewritten equation 1. We'll distribute here. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative times negative is positive. 2 times 3y is 6y equals. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And we have now rewritten equation 2 to be in our new form. And look what we've achieved. Our goal was to create opposites for x, and we have done so. In the top equation, the x term is positive 6x. And in the bottom equation, the x term is negative 6x. What happens when you add opposites? Well, they cancel to the number 0. So we're now able to add our two equations together. 6x plus negative 6x makes 0. 6y plus 6y makes 12y. And 48 plus negative 12 or 48 minus 12 is equal to 36. Now anything plus 0 is itself, so this 12y plus 0 is simply 12y, and we get 12y equals 36. Notice that we no longer have an x in our equation. This allows us to divide by 12 on both sides and solve for y, and we get the result y equals 3. Now this is not the end of the problem. Remember, solutions to systems are ordered pairs, so we know that the answer is going to be some x value, comma, a y value of 3. Now we just have to find what is that x value, which means we have to plug y equals 3 into one of the equations that we have in our solution. And we have many to choose from. It can be the original equation 1, which was this 2x plus 2y equals 16. Original equation 2, which was 3x minus 3y equals 6. Our modified equation 1, or our modified equation 2. Pretty much any equation that still has x and y in it from this problem. Now, which one should we plug into? Well, my advice would be pick the one with the smallest numbers and the fewest negatives. That would be original equation 1. So, I'm going to write Professor Lacoste chooses... to plug y equals 3 into 2x 
plus 2y equals 16. So I'm going to get 2x plus 2 times the value of y is equal to 16. y, of course, is equal to 3. So now we have 2x plus 6 equals 16. Subtracting 6 on both sides gives us 2x equals 10, and dividing by 2 on both sides gives us x equals 5. So we now have our completed solution. It's the ordered pair, 5 comma 3. But we have to check it and make sure it's a correct answer. To do that, we plug back into our original equations, both of them. Both x and y are plugged into both of the original equations. Let's start with the first one. 2x plus 2y equals 16. So we get 2 times the value of x plus 2 times the value of y equals 16. The value of x is 5. The value of y is 3. And so we get 2 times 5, 10, plus 2 times 3, 6, equals 16. Does 10 plus 6 equal 16? Yes, it does. So this point satisfies the first equation. But does it also satisfy the second? 3x minus 3y equals 6. 3 times the value of x minus 3 times the value of y equals 6. Well, again, x is 5, y is 3. And so we get 3 times 5, 15, minus 3 times 3, 9 equals 6. Does 15 minus 9 equal 6? Yes. Therefore, that proves that our answer is correct. We have solved this system of equations using the elimination method.